Hello, I'm Francesco Giuliari and I will present the work Special Common Sense Graph for Object Localization in Partial Scenes. In this work, we present a novel problem of locating objects in partial scenes. Given a partial 3D scan of a room and an object to locate, we want to predict its position. The challenge of this task is that the objects to locate are in the unobserved part of the scene. To describe the scene, we use a graph-based representation that encodes two types of information. The first is the object arrangement. Starting from the semantic annotated point cloud of the partial scene, we first identify the objects in the room. We encode these objects as object nodes in our graph. We describe how these objects are positioned with respect to one another by using proximity edges. The proximity edges define distance between a couple of objects. This can be small for the case of bed and pillow and larger in the case of bed and counter. Since each object is at a certain distance from another, all the object nodes are fully connected. The second type of information is the common sense knowledge. This comes from a standard knowledge base called ConceptNet and describes where objects are typically located and how they are typically used. The idea is that by using this information, the network can learn that objects are at, at a similar location or that have a similar use should be located closer to one another or should be treated similarly. We encode this information by creating new nodes called concept nodes and connect them to the object nodes with two new type of edges, the edge location edge and the used for edge. We call this graph representation spatial common sense graph as it allows for both spatial and common sense reasoning. We use the spatial common sense graph as input to a localization approach. The node features are word embedding describing the object class or the concept, and the edge features represent the edge type and the distance if the edge is a proximity edge. For the localization, we insert a new target node with the class of the object we want to locate and connect it to other object nodes with proximity edges with distances set to unknown. Our method is called SGG Object Localizer and is composed of two main modules. The first module is a graph conversion network called Proximity Prediction Network. First, it uses an attention-based message passing to update the node features using spatial context and common sense information. Then, it concatenates the features of the target node with the features of each object node to predict the distances between the target object and each visible object. The second module is the localization module. It converts the pairwise distances into circles around the visible object and output the point of intersection as final localization. We build a dataset of partial scenes to evaluate our approach on this new task. The dataset features realistic indoor rooms from a scannet. Starting from the full scene in scannet, we create partial scenes where only a part of the environment is absurd. By building the dataset from the full scene, we have the semantic and data point cloud for the visible part of the room and the ground truth position of the objects in the unobserved part. We compare our approach against other methods using three performance metrics. The mean predicted proximity error is the mean absolute error on the pairwise distances. The mean successful localization error is the mean absolute error from the predicted location to the real location calculated only for successful localization, so when the error is below 1 meter. The localization success rate is the percentage of objects successfully located within 1 meter from the ground truth position. We use the LSR when comparing different methods. Among the baselines, the best one is Layout Transformer, a transformer-based model for layout prediction that we adapted for the localization task. This method can perform spatial reasoning and achieve an LSR of 17.6%. Our graph-based approach is the best performing method overall. The variant that only performs spatial reasoning achieves an LSR of 21%, while the variant that used the spatial common sense graph reaches 23.8%. Compared to previous methods, our method is 6% better in terms of LSR. Here we show three examples of localization obtained with our approach. The yellow area defines the observed part of the scene, the colored dots indicate the visible objects, the cyan diamond is the predicted location, and the red star is the ground truth location of the object. In the first example, our method can correctly predict that the, the bag is near the desk on the opposite side of the bed. In the second example, the network can infer that the sofa is facing the other sofa on the opposite side of the room. In the third example, the network fails to locate the television due to the symmetricity of the room. To summarize, in this work we presented a novel task that involves locating objects in the unobserved part of the scene, a new dataset of partial scenes, a new graph-based structure that allows for spatial and common sense reasoning, and a two-stage solution for the localization using graph neural network and a localizer module. In the paper, you can find more ablation studies and more details on the dataset.